All right, guys, this one's pretty exciting. I'm doing a winter survival test or whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to be going uh, with some friends up into the mountains. It is currently six degrees uh, late at night. It's uh, freaking cold right now. And with me, I've got my pack here uh, loaded with uh, my fortress base layer clothing. So that should keep me pretty warm. And then I've also got 800 fill down jacket and pants. Lots of hot hands, I've got food and fuel and stoves, water, all of that. Uh, I don't have a sleeping bag, crazy enough. Should be pretty fun. I've also got my kit here. So I've got my AR-15, I got some snowshoes and I got my chest rig with mags and navigation and all sorts of fun stuff. I wanna test my gear and see how well I do. I won't really be filming much while I'm there. So you know, I'll, I'll try to take pictures where I can and, and get you any info that I can. And I, I apologize for the poor audio and video, but I'm starting this and I've got two days ahead of me. Uh, well, two nights, two days, but uh, the first night should be pretty easy. So anyway, looking forward to it. Well, the winter training exercise I did, it was just with a bunch of friends. It was ridiculously cold. Now, it wasn't like a build a shelter type survival kind of training. It was just how to operate in the snow, basically. And that's a very difficult thing to do. Making sure you're not getting too sweaty, making sure you'll be able to get to your routes, doing land navigation, checking for enemies, stuff like that, doing shooting drills in the snow, lots of fun stuff like that. I was very fortunate to be able to go do that training. I had a really good time. But the main focus of what I wanted to do on that training was test out this gear. So we got down below zero degrees that night and my basic setup was I had this as my base layer. So this is the Fortress Base Pro pant. Uh, it's kind of like a pair of pajamas. Now there's no foam. So they use a special type of foam in this for their insulation, which basically means when it gets wet, it stays warm. That's what I was really after. It's got a cool pocket here on the side. It's kind of a weird shape, uh, but it does stretch to fit stuff in there. Have that on the other side as well. It's one thing actually most people don't realize that there's pockets here. These fit very, very comfortably and it doesn't cover your entire leg. So on the back side, it comes down to about the knee and then on the front side, it comes just below the knee but to about the shin. And the reason that is is to still allow for gaiters and high boots and stuff like that to be used, which I thought was a really smart idea. On the back side and on the front side though, you have all that foam there for the warming and it really does work well as a base layer. Now in sub-zero temperatures, which this is not rated for, this is rated for about five degrees if I remember correctly. It's like supposed to be like 65 to five degrees. I could be getting that wrong. And I'll have a link down below to where I got these from Fortress Clothing, as well as any coupon codes or anything like that that they are willing to offer. But I really love the pants as well as this top, simply for the fact that if I get sweaty, and that sweat would normally start making me really cold. It doesn't do that with this. And this is still able to allow the sweat to evaporate while keeping me warm. That was the biggest pro that I found using these. Now, the only thing I disliked about the Base Pro shirt was the collar. The collar was a little funky. So I didn't really like the collar that much, but it wasn't a deal breaker by any means. And very similar to the pants, the foam is strategically placed. So anywhere where there's gonna be a lot of moisture like sweat, it's going to not have the foam so it can evaporate even easier. But the fabric's very soft and they have a longer bottom here in the back. That's one thing that always happens with my base layers is because I'm out working in the snow, it tends to get untucked, especially in the back. So you're going along doing something, brush up against a tree, and then all of a sudden you got snow down the pants and that really, really sucks. This is really nice to tuck into this. And then on top of this, when I wanted to go to bed and have extra heat, I had this 800 fill down jacket and pants. Now I traditionally use these all the time, but they don't breathe well. And that was the risk why I wanted to go with these is because this would give me extra warmth while still being able to get that moisture off. This doesn't let me get the moisture off, but this is like wearing a sleeping bag. And so I really, really like it. And it compacts seriously, like down to the size of a softball. It's super, super compact. This is from XKG. They didn't have a matching color pants at the time. So I have the gray and the green. When it came to staying dry, I used these Cryptek over whites and they worked really, really well. I love this pattern. If I remember correctly, it's the Cryptek Obscura with their wraith. And so it's got their white wraith mixed in with the, the green and the brown. And it worked really, really well as a camouflage. 
Now I was dumb enough to think that I could survive with all of this, even though none of these are rated to sub-zero temperatures. And I gave it a try. I had an insulated sleeping pad. So I was alone in a tent, but I didn't have a wood stove or anything like that in there. It's literally like negative six degrees when this was happening. All I had was this here, as well as a bunch of large hot hand packets. And I put those on my feet and on my chest and in, you know, in my armpits where blood's flowing, want to warm all that up. And that worked for a little while, but especially being immobile, a lot of that heat was either escaping or I wasn't retaining it or it was just so cold that it was pushing through all of this. I think the biggest issue was my sleeping pad because my sleeping pad kept deflating and so I kept getting down onto the snow. So if I had had a better sleeping pad that was really well insulated and didn't deflate all the time, I may have been okay. Definitely moving around in these, I was doing really, really well. During the day, I kept these on all the time. So I basically wore these and then as well my over whites. And during the day, working in just above zero degrees during the day, uh, this was perfect. But as soon as you would stop and sit for 20, 30 minutes, you could definitely feel that cold coming in. One of the things that I really loved was their face pro shield i forget what they call it but it's not a beanie because the top is really thin but it's this big face shield and i absolutely loved this i don't like face shields or face masks or whatever when in the snow i just they, they get too wet and then it stays wet and it gets on you i did not have any moisture on my face all day, all night when I use this, I pretty much had this on the entire time. So awesome, awesome on this. You don't have to use the top, you can keep it tucked in or you bring it up top just to make things easier and it vents really well and it's got like a wire or something in here so you can give some form to the bottom of this. And it was nice because we were riding in, uh, in snow vehicles where I could just basically put my face behind this and have the snow and wind off of my face and I really, really liked that. Now they did give me a beanie and this is just a standard beanie. Obviously it's really warm, but there's, to my knowledge, nothing special about it in the sense that like you can't dunk it in water and wring it out and have it be super warm or anything like that. But I got a beanie, but the one thing I really loved in addition to all of this were the socks. Now the socks have these same foam uh, material in it. I'm not sure what it is, but these seriously were awesome. What's nice is that it fills up all the airspace in my boot so that way it's trapping all of the heat. So I really love the socks. The thing I hated about the socks was this rubbery grip. At least for me, I could not have this rubbery grip on my skin and I don't think it's designed to work that way. But I had to make sure that I put my socks over the Base Pro pants to make sure that this rubbery stuff wasn't itching me. Uh, that was the biggest thing. It wasn't even really pulling my hairs a lot on my legs. It was doing that, but the biggest thing was really itchy for me. And that could just be my skin, but as long as I put these over this, I was golden and my feet stayed at toasty warm the entire time. Now Fortress has a lot of things. I actually bought this hoodie from them. This was one of their prototype hoodies. We were at a prep show together. I was teaching on EMPs and firearms training and stuff like that. And they had a booth with a bunch of foam clothing. And I bought this all of my own money. I've had this for, I don't know, like five years or something like that. It's gotten pretty dirty and pretty beat up. If it's really cold outside, this is the one thing I know I'll grab every time. It's really thick. I've never been cold in this ever. The only issue, the reason I didn't take it on that survival, you know, training thing is it's pretty bulky and I was going for the least amount of bulk as possible. So it's okay as far as compression goes, but it's still, it's just not great. But I think if I would have had this in addition to these, I would have never gotten cold that night. That night I did get too cold and I ended up going into another tent that had a wood burning stove and that helped a lot. This hoodie is something that can be used as an everyday thing and it is seriously warm. I don't use anything else with it, just a t-shirt and then this, super warm. I absolutely love this jacket. It's, uh, it's become one of my work jackets it's because I've used it in such cold weather outside and it gets dirty and so on. And then they have their extreme layer. Now, both my wife and I have their extreme foam clothing, and I'm not sure if foam clothing is the right thing to be calling it, but the bottom line is their fortress clothing or whatever. We have their extreme, which is basically what they like to show off as where you could wear it, jump into a frozen lake, like cut a hole, jump into the lake, get out and still be warm. Now we have that for extreme conditions in case there's a major issue. We'll just say a major issue going on in the dead of winter and we need to stay super warm while traveling. 
That was one of the biggest things I liked about this is having the ability to travel with heat. This is a good base layer for working and doing stuff every day. It was probably about five years ago. Um, I was a scout master at the time and I did a camping trip with uh, my scouts and it got down to negative two degrees that night. And I had just my, at the time I had a fleece base layer for my thermals. And then I had those extremes with me and then some really thick uh, warm boots that I wore to bed. And that's what I slept in. And at the time I actually had two sleeping pads that I slept on and I actually was comfortably warm that whole night. So those are extremely good. But the only downside in my opinion is a bit of the bulkiness. So I would recommend getting a really nice compression sack and that might offset it. But the beauty of it is you could really do that and then not have to have a sleeping bag, which is really, really cool. You're effectively wearing the sleeping bag. I wanted to see if this would work as good as that because it's so compressible but that was not my experience. So overall guys, I really like the Fortress clothing. It's a way to carry heat with you and to stay warm even when you get wet. When you stop hiking, you stop working in the snow, that wetness of sweat on you is can, can seriously be life-taking. And so you wanna make sure that you're staying warm in those conditions, which is why I like this a lot. But this is now what I take out as my layer for thermals when I go coyote hunting in the winter and stuff like that when I'm out climbing mountains with friends, doing survival training, things like that. This is now my go-to base layer and I like it. And I like especially the socks and this face mask. I use these all the time, even when I'm not using these. These are really nice. I appreciate you guys being here. Check this out if you're interested. Be prepared. See y'all in the next video.